Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video I'm gonna show you how to create this in After Effects. Let's start. Ok guys, welcome back. I will add the vectors link and project files in my description below. You can check it from there. So firstly let's select this background and let's lock it. And now let's select this shadow and go to FX Presses and let's search for fill. And let's double click to it and let's change the color to gray like this and click ok and select this shadow let's press t and change the opacity let's make it 20 okay 20 is less let's change it to 40 or maybe 35 okay 35 is better and let's close it and first let's start with anchor points Let's select this arrow and go to pen behind or you can press Y and let's go to solo and let's move the anchor point to here. Let's go on solo and select the shadow, let's go to solo and let's move it to here. Let's go on solo, nice. And now select this circle, let's duplicate it with Ctrl D or you can do it from edit and duplicate. And let's move this circle to here. And select this shadow and go to here and click to alpha mark the circle too. If you don't see this area, just press here and then you will enable here. And let's select the shadow. Okay, nice. And now let's select the clock layers. And let's select the one. Go to solo. And let's move the anchor point to here. Let's go on solo so we can do it from there. Let's move it to the center and select the second layer and move it to here. And let's see if both of them match to each other. So let's move it a little bit here. Okay, nice. They match to each other. And let's start to give animation with this clock. Let's select the first layer and the second one. Press R and make rotation keyframes and go to the end. Let's change it 7 times and make 0, change this one to 7 and let's move this one 7s, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, I think this one is good now, let's move this one to back like this. Okay, let's see. Nice, now select these boss layers and let's enable the motion blur, so it will be more better. And now let's change the anchor points of these layers around the circle, so let's do it one by one. Select this layer 30 and let's go to solo and move the anchor point to here. And this one, let's move it down, and this. Ok, it's all done, now let's select these layers and the 30 as well. Now let's go to the window and go to Animation Composer 3. And if you don't have Animation Composer 3, I will add the link in my description below how to get it. And let's open the starter presets and transitions to the layer. And let's select this one and press in. Ok, now go back to browse. Now let's close here and go to effects, 2D layer, 2D layer transformations and from there let's select the cosine rotate and let's click to apply and from edit section just change this effect intensity to 20, I'm gonna use 20 and let's close this, let's see, ok as you see there is some problem with our clock so to fix that, go to first, second and select this first and second layer and let's link them to layer 28. Now let's see. Ok, as you see they move to the right, let's select them and move it to here, to the center. Ok, let's check it. Nice, 
Let's change the layers like this to make it randomly so it will look more better in our animation. Let's see now. Okay, it's a little bit slowly, so let's move them to the left a little bit. Let's check it. Okay, this one is good now. And now let's select this layer 15. And let's go to FX Presses. Let's search for vehicle. And let's select the vehicle position. And let's double click to it. And from FX Control section, change the vehicle amount to let's make it 30. This one will be more better. Let's see it in solo. Okay, this is good. Now select this vehicle effect and let's Ctrl C to copy it and select these layers. Let's paste for all of them. Let's check them. Alright, it looks good. And now select all these layers and this one and let's link them to circle. Now select the circle and press R, make rotation keyframe, go to the end. Let's rotate it once. Let's see. Okay, and lastly, let's give animation to this arrow. But before we're gonna give animation to it, as you see, there's some problem with the shadow. So to fix that, let's select the shadow and go to solo. And let's go to pen tool, or you can press G for that. And let's hold shift and let's make a line like this. And now let's complete this now select this shadow and press M to open the mask and click to invert it now go to on solo okay let's fix these areas so select this mask and press G let's add a new point now let's do it like this and add one to here okay nice see Nice, it looks good. Now let's select this arrow, go to here and press P, make position keyframe. Let's go back to here and let's move it to up like this. And select the keyframes, make them easy as or you can press F9. And go to graph editor, let's select the graph and move this one to the right. Let's see. Okay, it's a little bit slow, so let's move this keyframe to the left. Okay, this is good. And now select this shadow and press P. Let's go to here and make position keyframe. Let's zoom a little bit and go to here. And let's move this shadow to there. And select this shadow keyframes, make them easy. Let's see. Okay, let's move it to the left a little bit. And select this keyframes, go to graph editor, let's change the graph like this. And select this keyframe, let's move it to the right. Let's see the timing. Okay, nice. Now they come at the same time. And now let's select this arrow and let's hold shift and press R. Make rotation keyframe. Let's go to 3 keyframe. 1, 2, 3. Let's change the rotation to 4. And go to 3 keyframe again. 1, 2, 3. Let's change it to 0. And select these keyframes and make them easy. Let's see. Okay, let's move them to the left a little bit. Let's see now. Nice. And select this shadow as well, hold shift and press R, make rotation keyframe, go to 3 keyframe, and let's change this one to, and go 3 keyframe again, let's change it to 0. And make these keyframes easy as well. Let's see. Nice. Now let's see the full animation. 
Okay, cool. So guys, thanks for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe channel and leave a comment in my video. See you in the next videos.